Namaste, dear ones. This is Sylvia Mordini, the founder of Alchemy of Yoga, and so happy to see you. Seriously, my heart feels your heart. And what I wanted to just share with you today is really the three key things that I see in what makes a yoga teacher successful. And this is one of the things that I present the most on the yoga conference circuit all over the world is how to be a successful yoga teacher. And you might wonder, well, like, why me? Well, I've been teaching for 20 years and over that 20 year successful yoga career and prosperous yoga career, I've picked up a few things and I've certainly done a lot of things wrong. And um, what I like to do is save people the time, energy and money so that you can do it better than I did. And so the three keys or things that are in common with successful yoga teachers, number one, they don't postpone. Um, they literally don't put off or make excuses for anything that aids their development and their growth. So if that is something that you've been doing and you are wanting to become a certified yoga teacher, but you've been postponing, you've been delaying, you've been finding an excuse for why it's not going to work. And now all your excuses are obliterated because honestly, you have the time you can do it from home, you have the convenience, it's flexible, go at your own pace, and you have this amazing tribe that will really support you. The price point is also incredible, like once in a lifetime incredible. And then the second key thing that successful yoga teachers have in common is that they don't talk about like expense, they think of it as investment. And there is a difference, like when you are trying to make a decision about investing in yourself and your personal development, which lasts a lifetime. So it's a forever payback. That's a pretty good ROI, I would think. Um, or if you're just caught up in, in the expense of it and the currency of it, then you probably won't ever actually invest in yourself to become a certified yoga teacher. But you can change that. And if one of the stumbling blocks is that you don't think that you're deserving, that you haven't done enough, that um, there are all these conditions and prerequisites, well, it's only you standing in the way of you. And you can literally just change your mindset right this moment and decide you are worth the investment, you guys. Of course you are. And you always have been. And this is a really important one. And then the third thing that successful yoga teachers have in common is that honestly, they um, they give themselves permission to experience the joy of the experience itself. And rather than getting caught up with the outcome, the result, the goal, or what have you, um, for a training, for a workshop, for hiring a coach, for producing a product, they're really fine-tuned into the experience of the experience and enjoying the whole of it. So that's really yoga too, isn't it? Like the goal in yoga is the practice. There's no outcome to yoga. You're never done with downward facing dog or warrior one or whatever it is. You're simply trying to be mindful, show up, be present and enjoy the experience of downward facing dog as it's happening and letting go of all the expectations of what will happen in that down dog or trying to get anywhere in that particular pose. And that's one of the things in common with successful yoga teachers in how they view their careers, which is why they have more longevity. Also, you should know about my background, like what and why do people think I'm expert and have this wisdom and all things yoga and yoga business and development. And um, well, not only I've been teaching for 20 years, but I have over 12,000 hours, hours of teaching experience. And in 2004, I started my yoga teacher training uh, program, Alchemy of Yoga. I am currently leading my 32nd teacher training in those 15, now going on 16 years. In 2009, I founded my Alchemy Tours retreat business, which focuses on personal development and spiritual adventures. And I've also own two studios, one I founded, and the one I founded, I had for 10 years, and I had over 9,000 clients. Um, and then in 2015, I founded Dharma Mentoring Coaching, which is for yoga teachers to help them be prosperous and successful while doing the work of spirit. So I've just continued on this path, and I've taught thousands 
and thousands of people all over the world. And I am considered a teacher of teachers because I'm really on your side. I not only want you to heed the call to becoming a certified yoga teacher, but I also really want you to be successful and prosperous post-program. And that's why I invest so much of myself and my students before, during, after, and honestly, forever. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, you want a small class size, you want a hybrid experience where you're not just sitting by yourself watching videos, but you have a squad, you have a team, and you have the opportunity to participate in up to three Zoom calls per week and work at your own pace because everything's on replay as well. Um, and you want a proven format. You want uh, something that you know absolutely works because it's had longevity, it's been tried, it's been tested, like my program, then absolutely sign up. 20 people, it's almost half full, and I know it's gonna sell out. Um, I have no other summer teacher training. I just wanna make sure that that's clear too. Um, have no other summer teacher training. So this is my only offering for the summer, June 15th to August 10th, eight weeks of amazing growth, expansion, and bliss. And I'd be so honored and delighted to be part of your journey to inspire you, but to give you the practical tools, tips, techniques, templates, everything to help you amp up and level up in the easiest way possible. So from my heart to your heart, to the heart of the universe, namaste.